Hey guys, my name is Stubby Potato. This is a video of me just going into depth of the Wolf King uh, concept and story type thing. Um, well, anyway, this is going to be a new thing that I'm starting up called Storytime, and it's where I go into depth of things that people normally wouldn't go into depth about. Um, I hope you enjoy the series, and recently one of my videos just went up, like, the Void Bow went from, like, 12 to 24 in a day, and thank you for that. Um, I have to voice over this entire video because my mic was off during this whole thing and I was really pissed, but anyway, I'll see you there. Okay, now I think this is very sad. Um, Basically, it starts off, uh, this is all my opinion, by the way, as the Wolf King being kind of a breeder slash trainer for wolves. Either that or he just owned two badass wolves. But anyway, um, I think it's really cool he just owned two wolves. I'll go into more depth. Now, the reason I think we need the paintings for this is because it shows more... Um, of what happened. Now this is where the Wolf King went into battle and had to leave his dogs behind but in this frame he has his dog with him which kinda has a plot hole in my story. Uh, but I think that's what happened generally. He had to leave his dogs behind when he went into war and he was attacked by the huge uh, octopus monster you fight in Shadows of Evil for the Easter Egg and um, Unfortunately, I think he was killed in the final photo. Uh, I'll show you that painting in just a s Okay, now, uh, unfortunately he dies without his dogs and he is uh, dismantled and buried into various symbols and Leroy is there in the background kind of bowing down to the king's death and I think that's very sad. Um, uh, this is generally it. The Wolf King dies and he, his dogs are left with no one to own him or help him, help them. So they kind of have to go cold blooded and start hunting unless he kind of lets someone take after his uh, dogs. Well, now I think this next bit is also very sad because you revive the dog from his death but not completely, and he goes searching for the remainders of his master, and it's awfully sad for me because I always have this idea that his master's dead, uh, and it's not just an idea, it's the truth, his master's dead, and that's who you're bringing up. Um, this, is, this part is not a theory, it is actually true in my opinion. I think there's no way this can be uh, untruthed. Uh, you're going around searching for the remains of his master and you're just going piece by piece until you get all the th uh, three pieces, legs, chest and head. Uh, that's not the all, all the pieces to the body I know, but would you like me to explain it all? No, I think not. Now, in this next part of getting the wolf bow, you actually have to shoot a little platform and uh, put the bones to the coffin uh, that the king should originally be put in. And the dog kind of rewards you with that by giving you his spirit, his soul, to use in battle like the king once did, in my opinion. And... Um, as you can see here, I'm trying to shoot the wolf symbol for the platform to come up, and, uh, you hold square and, or X, and the wolf will reward you with his spirit in a single arrow. And that's pretty much the whole story. If you would like me to go into depth about anything else, although I do not have much subscribers, I might get a suggestion. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, have a good day, and... Goodbye.